Okay, so before we talked about flat line folds. So what happens if we have a fold that itself is tilted? So we're going to make our anticline here, fold the limbs down. There's the hinge line, the limbs tilt away from the hinge line. But let's imagine that that hinge line is tilted, that we call it a plunging fold. So instead of flat lying where the hinge is here, relatively it's, it's horizontal, it's not tilted at all. And it could be tilted this way or this way. So if a fold is tilted and then eroded, we'll see a different pattern on the surface than we saw with a flat line. So if we imagine that our, there's our hinge line, it's plunging in that direction. And let me push this together a little bit better so I can cut it. And now I'm going to, so it's tilting this direction, and I'm going to slice it open, imagining that we're eroding it. Okay, so now it's been eroded, and instead of seeing the layers parallel to one another, this time fold the hinge line is plunging towards you. So the this time when we look on the top surface, we see not parallel lines, but uh, almost like a, a syncline right there on the top. But it's not a syncline. This is an anticline, right? But it's an anticline that's tilted and been eroded. So the hinge line is still in the same place, except that it's tilted now. So and remember that the in an anticline, the layers tilt away from the hinge line. But because the hinge line itself is tilted, then we have actually that at the, the strike at this end here is going to tell us which direction it's plunging. So, or, or sorry, the dip is going to tell us. So here's the strike and the dip. Remember to re review the video on strike and dip if you're confused about that. So the strike still pretty contact or uh, parallels the contact lines, the um, margins between the colors, but the dips and the dips still point away from the center, but they don't all point in the same direction. So they're all going to point away. So can if you like alliteration, anticline. The dips point away from the center, syncline they point towards. In this case, there's all my dips, but instead of being parallel to, to the hinge line, they are bent around it because that hinge line has been tilted. It's not vertical. It's tilted. So that's a plunging anticline. 